from Cancers. Oh my God, Cancers, Cancers, what a month. There's a lot of money, his heir, but it's, it's yours or you have to pay back a lot of money or you have to pay out a lot of money, Cancers, what is happening, what is transpiring. All right, so when we see the energy of the Aerophant, it came out also for the Sagittarian, and you, Kansas, and Sagittarian has gotten yourself in some sort of a cowoods. And the energy of the Sagittarian is here, and it came up in the Leo readings too. Um, and uh, yeah, it came up in the Leo readings with a whole lot of money. You, Kansas, and a Leo have done something and collaborate or at the workplace you created some issues the same energy um came up for the leos uh check out the sagittarian also with the air and the sagittarian is having a whole lot of problems in power so are you cancers also whenever the energy of the air event is government institutes or corporations some sort of a problems is going to be coming up for you cancers so whatever is happening and transpiring i see you they're going to be recognizing the government institutes organization is going to be recognizing um, a whole lot of uh, a situation that has to do with a whole lot of money. Where did a whole lot of money went to? Okay. And all a whole lot of money was gained by civil servants under the table in order to falsify work permit documentation visas and that sort of a thing. Government institution is going to be coming down on a lot of their workers and civil service because they're going to be recognizing that um, some sort of a corruption in a government organization where people got money in order to create a whole lot of uh, things. So, so this is going to be coming up. So a lot of you be aware of this. Um, be very aware of this if you work in government institution organization. They're going to be realized corruptly. Um, it could be a situation where they realize that your, um, you cancers, your data documentation, um, was false. Okay. So they can't find it in on any other system. They don't know, um, how you come on some sort of a travel documents or work documents because they can't find it in any other system. Cancers and they are going to be going after some of you. A lot of you cancers that work in huge corporation, um, huge government institutes, um, corporation, um, you know, that it can be, just think of all the huge, um, international government, um, corporation or worldwide, however they are run. Um, they're going to be recognizing that your, your data and information is, uh, um false cancer and it is really really for you cancer so then we see the first week the first week what is happening and transpiring is that we have um this situation with the eight of cups in reverse the energy of the eight of cups has to do with saturn in pisces okay a saturn in pisces so um they are recognizing um, that, yeah, corruptcy is in a corporation, an international corporation, a government institute to organization. They're recognizing that corruptcy is in a corporation. So a Pisces could be finding this out, that a whole lot of corruptcy is in a government institute to organization. Or, um, um, yeah, yeah. And they're going to be, um, you know, using Saturn to bring back discipline, discipline and organization, um, because they recognize uh, that uh, people, um, were, um, th there was a lot of chaos and fraud, um, corruption that was going on. Then when we look at the seven of cups, another energy in the reverse, Venus in Scorpio. And what is transpiring is that when Venus in Scorpion is going to be affecting a lot of you on the work floor. Okay. So a lot of you could be dealing with a Scorpion boss or a Pisces boss, a Scorpion boss or a Pisces boss. Now, these people, um, is really going to be making a whole lot of changes. A lot of you cancers, a Pisces and a Scorpion boss could be getting some sort of a promotion over you guys. 
And the reason why is that they are recognizing some sort of a corruption. Maybe you are the one who's um, looking at the corruption. But whenever Scorpion um, is in, um, uh, Venus is in Scorpion, Venus in Scorpion is saying that um, there could have been um, affairs on the work floor and uh, a, a network of people that is corrupt in your corporation institution, okay? Because it's in the reverse. And what you are now recognizing is that a group of people, um, a corporation, the top, the heads, governments are recognizing that in a huge international corporation that some of you works for in a corporation, people were turning the blind eye and a lot of customers were alerting people that there was some sort of a false... Uh, there was sort of a some sort of a corruption, and no one will look at it until now. People are recognizing that it is true. There is a whole lot of corruption in a government institute, say organization, or a international corporation. They're recognizing a whole lot of corruption, and they're recognizing that you cancers and a group of people. Um, have create a huge corruption, okay? And it's as if people have been alerting them and saying, hey, there is a group of people in a corporation institution um, that is creating some sort of a corruption and people were turning a blind eye. Until this timeline, people stopped turning a blind eye. Governments are looking at it, managers are looking at it and recognizing that this uh, corporation institution People um, were, um, you know, going off their own ag agendas, not working um, in, um, in 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 uh, in guidelines, in rules, in regulation of the companies. But yet, still, they were pocketing, um, they were filling their own pockets. And um, I see that government is going to be stepping in in a corporation and is going to be resolving the situation once and for all because it's not the first time that a client or clients have um, speak up about some sort of an unfairness, unfair treatment that was happening. And now government is now recognizing that, hey, you know, we have been turning a blind eye to this, but it is good if we are going to be taking out some time in order to investigate this corporation. There has been a lot of people that is complaining about some sort of a problem in this corporation and everyone has been turning a blind eye. Now we got to look at this corporation because people are now recognizing and it's seen that, yeah, um, there has been um, some sort of a corruption. It's like government didn't want to look at it or they weren't aware. And I see, um, now they're aware and somehow you cancers are going to be caught in this situation. Um, where some of you cancers could have have a group of coworkers that was corrupt as the pest and you cancers could be caught up in this. Then in the third week, managers, I see a lot of managers and I see they're going to be really looking at a Sagittarian and recognizing how corrupt a Sagittarian is and that a, a Sagittarian has been selling data and information for a very long time. A Sagittarian has been paid and was corruptly changing data and information and allowing people, um, and it could be visas, it could be travel documents um, and visa. And this is coming out from out of a government corporation. And now the, the government is really coming down and recognizing how corrupt a Sagittarian is, okay? Um, and and, and um, they're going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian has been doing it for a very, very long time. So we see um, Saturn in Sagittarius. So they're going to be fine, firing a Sagittarian. They're going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian is the one that has been selling and accessing data and documentation, and they're going to be firing the Sagittarian. They're really, really going to be recognizing who the Sagittarian is and what the Sagittarian does and how the Sagittarian has been accessing 
um, it's going to be some sort of an espionage act. There, the Sagittarian is going to be caught under some sort of an espionage act because it's data. Saturn in Sagittarian is going to be um, a huge explosion, tower moment, and the Sagittarian is going to be um, fired immediately on the spot. Okay. So um, somehow this could be happening in the second week. Well, um, where you cancers are going to be recognizing because they're going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian is the one that brought you cancers in a corporation institution and they're going to be recognizing the working of you cancers and a Sagittarian how um, you cancers and so you cancers and a Sagittarian could be getting fired in a second week they're going to be recognizing that you cancers and Sagittarian our co-workers, but also our friends that has been accessing and clear and using data and information and people are going to be recognizing this. So I see whenever Saturn come up in Sagittarius, it's about the reputation because Saturn is the 10th house and it's about the reputation of a Sagittarian. And if you recognize it's a cautionary card, okay? Um, that is a cautionary card and it is in the reverse. So an organization institution is going to be recognizing um, that a Sagittarian is very corrupt. Okay, very, very corrupt. A Sagittarian and a group of people are very, very corrupt. And I've been paid underneath the table in order to facilitate and was uh, um, pocketing money and had their personal agendas. So, um, so I see a boss in the third week is going to be recognizing that about the Sagittarian. They're going to be firing the Sagittarian on Stanford directly, firing this person to get out um, uh, and get them out of a corporation. Then I see in the fourth week, this is another sweet energy in the fourth week. This is another sweet energy. It is the Eight of Pentacles, and this is about... Uh, perseverance with a situation, um, persevering um, through the situation, this problem, this issue that a Sagittarian has given to you, persevere because at the end of the day, the sun is going to be in Virgo. So here we see the sun in Virgo and this is going to be good. This is going to be like extremely, extremely good when the sun is in Virgo. So this is going to be good. So it's a positive, positive um, alignment of energy when we recognize what is transpiring. And the number eight energy is always very, very positive. Okay. And with the, this um, eight of pentacles in reverse, um, it is showing up that... Uh, information um the sun in virgo is uh, you're going to be very successful at your work but not only that uh, the sun in virgo is that a virgo is going to be helping you also out of a situation because a virgo recognize so i see they're going to be coming down on a virgo businessman a virgo businessman is going to be alerting a corporation institution about some sort of a corruptcy that has been happening and transpire and i see that the top of the heads managers is going to be recognizing this and going to be changing the rules and regulations of what was happening and transpiring in this company and I see that at the end of the day, they're going to be finding out corruption because the eight of cups, the seven of cups energy is showing up um, um, that a group of people had created a uh, corruption and as a gain money on the false pretend. OK, the energy of the ten of pentacles in reverse. Um, it is about, uh, you know, um, uh, communication uh, mercury in Vir virgo mercury in virgo is about communication and um it's as if a virgo businessman is going to be um you know letting people know that you know they have paid me in order to acquire some sort of a information and data so whoever this um virgo man is i see this virgo man in order for this virgo man to get out of some sort of a problem this Virgo man is going to be um, letting people know that he was paid in order to um, acquire some sort of a 
information okay so i see wealth and inheritance wealth and inheritance um is where they're going to be recognized some of you cancers have paid in order to facilitate and get some sort of a data and information and pay people under the table uh, in corporation institution in order to get some sort of a information data being changed so they're going to be recognizing that you cancers are very corrupt in a sense not all of you some of you and a Virgo is going to be showing that up. A Virgo businessman is going to be letting people know that a Sagittarian and you cancers have been working together for a long time and has been paying money underneath the table in order to acquire data documentation. So it's a sort of a situation by espionage because they can't find some of you cancers information. An international corporation is not finding some of you cancers information and they're recognizing what was happening and transpiring again you end the month with a knight of pentacles but it's also in reverse venus in uh venus in virgo venus in virgo and they're going to be um recognizing that it was a love of money a sagittarian a, a, a greed between a cancer and a sagittarian so you know guys you got to be aware because there was some sort of a greed there were people are going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a greed um why um people got caught and it's because um this situation this corruption has been going on for quite some time and you cancers have really paid in a uh, sagittarian in order um to get access to information and data and they're going to be recognizing this it is a sad situation because if you notice uh, um, all of your energies in reverse and it's like uh, it's not that money is coming back to you it is as if you have to pay out money um and uh, um this this is a situation where a lot of you cancers have to pay it, it's as if this company is realizing so maybe you are the one who is investigating a company and recognizing a whole lot of fraud um, with a whole lot of money in a corporation institution so cancers um you know get ready for this uh, period go um, and you know check out and see how is it going to affect your money in um this uh, um pisces period um because you're still in the pisces season uh, because this has a lot of do things to do and i see a pisces is going to be letting the secret out of the bag about you cancers i gotta go if you'd like to follow me to the other side i'd love to see you if not um i'm going to be saying namaste until next time show your love by thumbs up in order to see the extended of these reading use the blue button that says join um and as you join you will have a whole lot of archives to go back and listen to these readings are timeless they do help people um, um, within the biz and career. I gotta go. Namaste.